When tying a sewing knot, the traditional method is to just tie a big knot to begin with and hope that it doesn't go all the way through your fabric, which works okay if you are sewing through a very fine fabric, but it doesn't work very well if the fabric is coarse enough that the knot will go through. I'm showing an extreme example here where I'm trying to use this kind of knot to sew a crocheted item to itself. As you can see, it pulls all the way through. So, what I like to do instead, as an alternative sewing knot, is to make a stitch, but not pull the thread all the way through it. Leave a bit hanging at the end, and that will become your knot as you tie the knot around the first stitch, a double knot. Um, a square knot, rather, that this stitch becomes part of. This won't go through your fabric, no matter what kind of fabric you're using. I like this because it's more secure than the traditional type of sewing knot. Now, there's also a type of knot that I like to use for tying off that borrows largely from things that I've learned while crocheting. So, you make your stitches that you want to make, do whatever sewing you're doing, and when you get to the end of it, You make a stitch similar to the stitch that you made at the beginning, where you don't pull the thread all the way through. In this case, the thread that isn't pulled all the way through will make a loop. And through that loop, you do something similar to a chain stitch using the sewing thread, where you pull a piece of the thread from the needle pull that through the loop, and then you tighten that loop by pulling on it. And you do this repeatedly, maybe three or four times, until it's good and secure. Like this. And then you pull the thread through with the needle attached. And then tighten and there it is, a nice tight knot. Another trick that I've learned over the years that I thought would be useful here is a trick for sewing on buttons. And you begin by taking a strand of sewing thread and folding it over on itself so that it forms a very long loop of thread. Um, it ends up seeming like a thread that is two layers thick with a loop at the end. And you take this loop at the end of this double layer piece of thread, and you thread that loop through the eye of your needle. I like to use one of these little metal threaders because it makes it easier, the kind that has the bent piece of wire. So you take your thread and you pull it and fold it in half on that uh, threader wire. And then you pull it through the eye of your needle. And you get to the end, you just cut it off. And now you have a piece of thread that is essentially eight threads thick so that when you sew on a button, you don't have to make as many stitches. You just tie one good sturdy knot with eight strands all in one stitch.